Hello everyone, it's Monkozunki, and in this Slayer Guide, I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Grifolarus, which is my task at the moment. And Grifolarus are, I would say, a less than popular Slayer creature, mostly because before the evolution of combat, they were a, an extremely unlikable Slayer task. It had bad drops, it was not good XP, and it was rather annoying to do. But after the evolution of combat, this task has some benefits and some downsides. The downsides are it's not the best money per hour, you're not going to expect a lot of loot. The charms also aren't the greatest, they do not have a very good drop rate for any charms. But the XP that you can expect here is very decent, and as well it is a quick task, you can complete it in about 15 minutes or so. So you're not going to be spending too much time there anyway. So going over the setup, what I'm wearing is a garb of subjugation, and I'm just wearing the subjugation robes because they're non-degradable and give a small damage bonus to magic. However, you can wear arms or whatever is the best magic gear that you have. I'm aware that not everyone has a max cape to wear while slain, so if you don't have one, I would recommend instead to wear a god cape as it gives a bonus to magic, or a skill cape because they give pretty good defensive bonuses. A full slayer helm, obviously, to get the bonus for magic, and I'm wearing a demon horn necklace in tandem with a bone crusher just to restore my prayer. However, you can wear an amulet of glory if you'd like and some barrows gloves and a chaotic staff. If you don't have a chaotic staff, you can always switch out a staff of light. It works almost as well. And in your inventory, you're just going to want a ring of slain, a vecna skull, or some sort of magic potion. I will use my tacos though to get out of here and bank and get a new task once my task is over. And in my inventory, of course, I have the charming imp, the bone crusher, and they are weak to earth spells, so bring air runes and earth runes and use your best magic spells, so whether that be earth surge or earth wave or whatever you have. So the easiest way to get to Grifolarus is to get yourself to a fairy ring. And the fairy ring code to access their dungeon is actually quite easy to remember. Once you get to the code screen, you only have to change uh, one letter, so the code is just BIP to get to their lair, and teleport to that location. And as soon as you get there, it's not a very far run to Grifolarus, so are, they are incredibly easy to access. You'll see what I mean about this task being a little bit annoying um, as soon as I get down there and start killing them. But just climb down the first vine that you get upon immediately entering the dungeon. And run a bit south towards the platform that hosts, I believe, four Grifolarus spawn on this location. So you're going to want to run over here and just pot up, whether that be through your Vecna Skull or whatever magic potion you have. And you can kill these things extremely fast. So the annoying thing about this task is, after you hit them, they do a small little jump, and then you have to wait a second or two before you can attack them. That's really the major downside of this task. However, the good thing about killing these things is they die very, very quickly. So after they jump, you can immediately just kill them in a few abilities. Just remember to use Earth Spells and use your abilities as effectively as possible. And of course, the Asphyxia ability is the best for magic, and that will pretty much kill them in one hit every time. So, yeah, they are about 95,000 Slayer XP per hour with my testing. Just keep in mind that is with a Chaotic Staff and 99 Magic. So if you have slightly lower stats, you can expect slightly slower kills per hour. But it's going to be fairly decent XP, even if you're using a Staff of Light and are not 99 Magic. But anyways, this task is very quick because they die so quickly and Curadel does not assign a whole lot of them at once. She only assign about 100 or less. Um, usually, so you can expect this task to be over in about 15 minutes or so. I would recommend to do it just because the task doesn't take long and you can expect some fairly decent Slayer XP as well. Anyway, that's about all for this guide. I hope that it helps some of you guys out. And as always, I will be continuing to make Slayer guides. They're all going to be in a playlist, which this guide will be a part of as well. So if you ever need any more help with Slayer monsters, Slayer guides, etc., um, I will be continuing to make guides there. Also, if you have any requests for a Slayer Guide that you really need ASAP, I will try my best to get that Slayer task as soon as possible and make a guide on it. So anyway, that's about all. Thank you for watching, and farewell.